Hello everyone, this is Mario Kaiba, here to screw the rules. Well, looks like something's about to be screwed, I'm talking about KV. Why? It's easy. Tweet from Tug. Hey there, here's the beginning of Funimation to be... Okay, I'm redoing it. Hey there, here's the beginning of Funimation being taken to task over the victim in situation and more. It begins with the XCO. I can't do Tug's voice. It begins the XCO to continue to who knows where. Well, to who knows. And she, honestly, if Funimation the answer is that they've had business set up where abuse was rife, smart move, funny. And I hate how my computer likes to boomer every time I scroll down a page. If only I knew a way to increase the freaking encrypt speed but uh, remember these tweets from nuclear hurricanes toxic fandom and you you think they boom barge in Fukunaga over this you know that guy who ran Funimation from 1994 to 2018 might be better Rupert enhancers and harassing actors and con staff for months Deep between steel insisting Vic couldn't have done anything because otherwise the Funimation would have done something about it instead of bothering victims go past your damn fucking naga. You know, that guy who found it funny, ran it from his buddy Vic. Wait, we need the answer. Did he know about Vic? The locks, hmm? He made me make locks. Rather than hold his contractors for the cannon while he chose to pay for something where else should have needed. That's the broken staircase. Someone saying amen. I feel like one reason we move so quickly after the hashtag start training is because there's probably a good deal of documentation. Best behavior and records already. Complaints from employees, emails, account attendees. ownership. The Gene Fucking Young remained silent and the woman of the company were absolutely paid for Vic Knox rather than address Vic. Why does he remain silent and act as a burn of harassment? Maybe out of his own guilt over something else, you idiot. Oh, I love how this guy is in this thread with Jay Mantello. Anyway, you can't make people in charge of funny like Jen fucking Yaka. Why he looked over the way, when you don't well know, they attack victims to demonstrate over and over why so few women can speak up about their abuse. Well, yeah. But yeah, I love how he's putting all the blame on Jen Fukunaga. It is Fukunaga, right? I probably boomered. And I boomered again because it really is Jay Mantello. But why am I making a video on this? Well, other than the fact that Yellow Flash liked and retweeted the comment I made, which is about what I'm about to pull up next. The Chuck Hubert Affidavit, number 74, I contacted Jen Fukunaga. Uh, see, does anyone even know how to spell his name? The then CEO of Funimation discussed my concerns with Chris Sabat's gaslighting of Sean Shimmel, aka Soigoku, damaging use of his authority towards actors and attempts to destroy my career. In early March 2018, who met with me and advised that Vic would lose and pay via something he had learned about called anti-slap motion. 
He also, in response to my specific concerns about Chris Sabotage, had said that he had been friends with Chris Sabat for 17 years and he did not believe me. This meeting occurred March 5th, 2019 at 2.30 p.m. in Jen's office, approximately a month to a month and a half prior to Vic filing the current pending lawsuit. And I have a noisy kitty. Quiet cat I'm recording. Come here. Come on. Say hi, Miso. Meow, he's so cute. He's so cute. You are a cute kitty. Yes, you are. I say you can't go on a date with Bucket. Now, going back on topic after my cat derailed me. Seriously, what side is Jin Fukunaga on? Other than the fact that Jay Montello can't even spell Fukunaga's name right. Or in Super Jack Wagon terms, yes, <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's funny, Jin Fukunaga is supposed to be Chris Sabat's buddy. He says here, been friends with Chris Sabat for 17 years and Hubert's affidavit. While lead loser Jay Montello is trying to convince everybody that he was friends with Vic. And can't spell the name right. Yo, Jay Mandello. You are culturally insensitive. So, yeah. Feel free to comment whose side do you think Fukunaga is on? On Vic's side, where he is quote unquote doing the Vic lock. Or Sabbath's side where he's protecting Sabbath in his casting couch. Be sure to leave your comments down below, like, subscribe, hit that bell button for notifications. This is Mario Kaiba. Oh, I almost remember and forgot. I'm going to change things. I'd like to officially announce that the Oh no! We're out of sacred ointment campaign is over. I am going to be hiding the product from the RG07 Gaming and Novel Store. Meaning that if you want to get the product, you're going to have to get it from my Twitch exclusive or from one of the old direct links because the campaign's over. I haven't checked it lately, but I've probably only sold one shirt, which that one shirt's proceeds will go to Vic Mignogna's GoFundMe. I was thinking about extending it, but I decided, no, nope. I need to stick to my guns. But still, this is Mario Kaiba, signing off and screwing the rules. Thanks.